Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to disassemble your television, be able to put your LED lights, your replacement LED lights into your TCL 55 inch. Same method will apply to your other smaller or larger TCL televisions. Might be slightly different. This is gonna be for the 55 inch. It depends on your model. They do offer a few different models, but everything will pretty much be similar to this concept. First thing you're going to do, put down, you can either do it on a bed, put down a nice little blanket, something soft, screen is down, and we're looking at the back of the television here. First and foremost, a couple tools that you will need so that you can be as safe as possible. You're going to need a couple of these suction cups. These are four and a half inches. I got these at Harbor Freight for $1.99 on clearance. Each one was $1.99. You can go with a little bit more smaller, but I would recommend the four and a half inchers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one on that side, one on this side, obviously on the screen portion. We're gonna get to that, but you will need those. So we'll go ahead and head over to Harbor Freight and grab one of those. You will need a smaller screwdriver, a Phillips smaller one. Some of these small screws in the side of the television here, you're gonna have screws all over here, there, there. Just look all around, even on the bottom here. This is where the speakers are. You're gonna have screws here in these little grooves here, here, and here. Those ones are gonna be small. Coming all the way around, just look all over the place, right here, right there, all these open holes, and all the way around the edge as well. And what I did is I just put most of those in the corners, and then I have my little diagram of those screws so I know kind of where they go back on here. Now this comes off in two different pieces. Once these ones down here are taken off, then this pulls back. And what you want to do is you want to be a little careful and probably have to do with this with two hands. All right, so just grab it with two hands. And if you missed any screws, this won't come up very easily. Just pay attention to that. Now, before you rip it off, be careful because underneath the back side, you're going to have cables hooked up to your area down here, your little touch buttons. Easiest thing to do in this scenario here, go ahead and push down on this tab right here on your main board, and then go ahead and slip that back. So once that cable is loose, then that is going to be 100% free, and you can move that out of the way. Now it's really simple. You got your power supply, your TCOM board, and your main board right here. It's a very simple television, but we do need to, because we're going to be flipping this over, eventually we do need to get a couple things out of the way in order to get down here so we can free up the screen. We're going to need to remove these four screws here, here, and here for this little plastic piece here. That goes for the TV stands and here, here, and here as well. Not to mention, we're going to need to get this Wi-Fi connection because it's a smart TV. We need to remove this and put this out of the way so we can flip it over. So let's do that now. Now the right one, when you do pull it out, you're going to see a little notch right here. So what I did is I just kind of moved it up. It's stuck in there. And then you want to go ahead and pull it down a little bit. And then it'll pop out because this little niche right here is locking that into place once the screws are removed. Same thing on the left side now. All right, for the Wi-Fi connector part, I just popped off this ribbon right here. And then at the top of this, this is going to be sunken in this little portion right here. There's a little tab. Let me go ahead and just get this out of the way real quickly here. There's a little tab right on the back here. I just push back and then a tab right here. And once those are pushed back a little bit, this is able to skedaddle off. You can, if you really want, go ahead and remove it right there, keep it connected, and then you can slip it under there. But this display board guard is going to be removed right now. We're also going to be removing that with that one screw right there, just getting that out of the way so that when we do flip it over, that won't crack on us right there. So let's go ahead and remove this and remove the three screws, one, two, and three right there. And that will remove this portion and then this little screw in the middle, and then one, two, and three, we're gonna remove this right side as well. And with that little black one also, there's another black one there, and another black one there. Once that is removed, then that is able to be free. All right, with the guards out of the way now, we do see we're gonna to have to remove this little black one all the way here in the corner. That's gonna be so that we can remove the bezel completely. So go ahead and take that one out. You have one over here on the right hand side of the television as well. Now here's a very important step here. You wanna remove these display boards from these little black slots that are holding these little display boards in. You also wanna remove the tape here. You wanna go ahead and unclick this. It folds up, let me just do it right here with you. It folds up like this. Go ahead and slip that little guy out right there. 
remove this tape, this tape, this tape right here, and also again, remove it carefully from these little plastic holders because you do not want that to rip up when we're pulling up on the display from the opposite side. Again, do this one as well right here. And just like that, that frees in. And go ahead and flap those down just so that for some oddball reason they don't break off there. All right, let me show you a little tip what I did. Make it a little bit easier here. So I took off the ribbons here from the T-Com board and I just set them right over here. Now, these are actually out of the little holders already. I know it kind of doesn't really look like that, but they are. And those you actually just push up, same thing, push down and very carefully remove that. Now I very lightly tacked the tape back on here and here just to keep those in place because we're gonna be now flipping the television over and I don't want those dangling and getting in the way as I'm trying to set the television back down. So from the back side, once it's up like this before we remove the bezel, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up gently and go ahead and just easily be able to untack that tape right there. Now all the pressure of the television is gonna go right on the back of these four pivots right here, right here and here. So again, if you have a helper, if not, no worries, just carefully put it back down, just making sure that these don't dangle. You could always do this step when it is completely upside down if you lean it up and go ahead and remove it, but I just wanted to look at it clearly and understand what I'm doing. I put that cord out of the way, you could remove it completely and just set that out of the way if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and flip this television over. But don't forget your bezel screw, your last one there and there as well. Now when removing the bezel, the easiest thing that's gonna do is you're gonna start kind of from the middle here and just pop it out gently. Corners are gonna be a little bit more trickier. And then what I did here is I came back to the back and it just pops out gently. And then you wanna work your way to the corner and I kind of dug my fingernails under this side and it just pops out just kind of lift up gently and pop it out but remember be careful because your display is right here again the corners are going to be a little bit more trickier but it just pops out see how that just sucks kind of slid up let me show you the corner over here try not to block the shot but my fingernails go up underneath the bezel and same thing here on this side and we'll just kind of gently again you kind of have to just work it Maybe try to brace it a little bit, but remember, be careful because your display board is underneath here. So far, this is probably the most trickiest step in my opinion. There we go, right there. So do the bezel with this side up because you don't want that display shifting around as you're trying to transport it back over. So just be careful. And again, we're lifting up here. And then once you have that side in, I'm going to be a little bit careful over here on this side. Let's go ahead and show you that as... Now it gets a little bit easier because we already kind of are almost pretty much out. But again, down here at the bottom, just be a little careful of, let's go ahead and get this corner out. There we go there. There we are. And there we go. So that is 100% freed now. We did have a little piece of tape. I'm not sure I didn't see that, but there's a little piece of tape right there. So now with the bezel completely off, here is a very, very important step. Now you wanna go underneath and get a, the best look at it as possible and remove that lightly tacked on tape that you kind of put back. And then once that tape is removed, then your display driver board right here, this is where you gotta be very careful as well. So you can either A, leave it dangling like this, or you can slightly put a piece of tape so it stays level. I don't know if I feel comfortable flopping it completely over with those ribbons, but you want that to be careful. I mean, you could, I'm not sure if it's gonna hurt it, but don't do it if you don't feel comfortable. I'm not gonna. You could just put a piece of tape right here and right here, maybe on a couple pieces right there, so it stays like straight or holds up just a little bit with maybe a little bit of tape pressure. But whatever you do decide on, once we have the suction cups up like this, it would be better if this was like on a table, but I'm gonna be putting it on the flat ground on another towel. So when I set it down, I just wanna make sure that these are not gonna be damaged. So I wanna set it gently down. So like, let's say the towel goes like this and keeps it nice and straight. Again, I'll leave that up to you for that step. Just be careful with that step there. 
I'm going to do the same side, remove the tape so that's free dangling, and then we're going to get our suction cups. All right, so I have my towel already laid down right here for when I have my suction cups there. So let's go ahead and show you that. Make sure these are clean. You could always use a uh, display cleaner after it's done, but you don't want to obviously like, you know, jam it in there. Just put it in there. I didn't really apply too much pressure, but you do want it obviously to stick. And that one there, and just clamp it shut here. So that looks like it's holding, that looks like it's holding there. Now before we do lift this off, we want to make sure that this is completely freed up from the bezel area here. It might be stuck with some adhesive. So we want to get a very thin piece of plastic and we want to run it very carefully on the back side over the edges here. Obviously we don't want to run it down the ribbon area because you're going to break the ribbons. So just go the three sides up here and over here so that we know that it's freed up before we try to transfer it because we don't want to lift up and then all of a sudden there be some sort of sticking and then all of a sudden it cracks in the middle or cracks over here on the side. All right, let me show you the method that I'm using. I actually moved it carefully. Now this side over here and the other side, there's going to be barely any adhesive. So you literally can just tuck something small. I'm actually using a credit card, but I'm just using just the corner. And you're actually going to see a darker, very thin line on the very, very edge. That's your kind of your adhesive spot. So you don't want to go too far in. This is where you want to be pretty careful. So what I did is over here on this side, I'm just going to show you, but pulled up very, very gently on it. And then you slide it just the corner. And then that whole side's pulled up. That whole side's pulled up. Now the back little edge, right around the very, very top, that's where the more adhesive is gonna be. So this is where you need to be very careful as well. Start in the corner. Again, just the edge, you're gonna slightly lift up. Just again, be very careful during this part. And it's kind of pretty sticky in there. And you do a slow slide like this, just the corner again. And then as it stops right there, I'm actually gonna now release this carefully here. We're gonna move this over to this direction. Again, being gentle with that as well. And then it's gonna be kind of hard to see because the camera's gonna be on the other side, but same exact thing. Lightly pulling up on this and sliding. And it looks like most of the adhesive was in that corner back over there. So you can see my card now. So again, just the corner is going underneath here sliding it down the rail. See, I'm actually loosening up the adhesive. I can actually fill it. And so I'm all the way to this portion right here. So I'm gonna move this over. Same exact thing, finish in the corner, put my paddles right here, lift it up, and we'll put it over on my clean towel over there. All right, now with the screen over here, we're looking good right there. Definitely have some space. <laughs> this space was a little bit too small, but those suction cups worked out great. Okay, so now you're gonna have one more sheet right here. If you can see that, it's a very thin piece of gray double adhesive tape right on the top. And that's what was the most sticky action. Some of the TCLs won't have that. Some of them will. I'm going to leave that on there so it presses back on there once I'm done. All right, next we need to remove the filter kind of chassis little area here. So the easiest thing to do, I have a very small flathead screwdriver and you're going to come to these little tabs like this right here the easiest thing to do is get it from underneath carefully with one hand here you could do it i guess maybe from the top portion here uh, but it is a little tricky with one hand but um, i get on it's kind of hard to film and do it but i lift it up like this i slip my screwdriver underneath and i just kind of pop it out like that and then it clicks out and then as you can see here this one is now going and we're going to do that to all these little tabs here 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 all the way around to all four pieces so we can remove the filters off of the television the remaining three are a little different but pretty simple so again i just use my little flathead screwdriver you get it in kind of the little wedge right here and here and these pop out a lot easier i've already done that area over there again the top one and that rail is the same thing you just kind of wedge it pop it the harder ones are down here at the bottom, but not too hard. All right, now here we're gonna have some tabs 
of tape, go ahead and remove that. And then we're gonna have some more up there at the top there. So we're just gonna remove these little tabs of tape and you can put those, kind of seal those back on if you want or exacto blade those off, it's up to you. But now that that is released, I'm gonna come back over here and just get it up by one of the corners. You're gonna have three sheets and then you're gonna see the LED lights underneath there. So again, be careful with this. There's like plexiglass on the very bottom one. And so we're gonna go ahead and get those out of the way. Now you're looking at the LED lights. Now some TCL models, you actually won't be able to remove this last filter. And you don't wanna mess that up because you don't want a filter that needs to be there messing up with your television's display. The picture, I should say. This particular TCL has these little things here, here, all around here. We're gonna go ahead and remove all these screws and that should be able to lift up this last filter so we can get to the LED lights. If yours does not have that, you're gonna to have to take an X-Acto blade and right on the edge, you're gonna go ahead and an X-Acto blade. You're just gonna follow it very carefully, not to go too deep. And you're gonna go ahead and just go around kind of the top and bottom, lift it up so you can kind of see it and then carefully remove it from the wire, placing each one back. There's gonna be some screws under there as well. I'll get to that step if necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these screws on these little fan looking area plastic pieces here. Okay, so you can do the exacto blade method like I just mentioned and individually cut that, but I actually, what I did is I took again the credit card, lifted up the corner, which is pretty easy right here, but then it starts getting adhesive I very carefully ran the adhesive down the row there and started to go this way, but then I found it's gonna be a little bit easier. Once one side is pulled up, this is where you do have to be careful, then you start lightly pulling up. Now when you put this back on, make sure Okay, now with the bottom of it exposed, all right, now for the light portion here, the long ones are gonna be on the left side, the shorter ones are gonna be on the right side. I've already replaced all four of those already. So you have on the short ones, you have one, two, three small black screws, and then gently remove that little tab there. That will lift up. There's no sticky tape or anything underneath that. Real simple. Plug the new one back in, screw those ones back down. Same thing for this side, but this side has one, two, three, Four black screws, gently wiggle out that little plug, set the new one in, one, two, three, four, tighten them back up. Excellent, guys. We're testing it out before we do piece it all back together. All I did was I took the back board and I plugged, let me see if I can carefully do this here. I plugged that back into the main board and that's just the back section there. And that's it. I didn't do anything about the T-Con board or anything like that. T-Con ribbons are still right there. So don't worry about testing it with those on. The lights fired up. You could maybe try your remote control if you don't even want to deal with that back bottom button. But once I plugged it in, automatically started up. Lights are looking good. They passed my test. Now I'm gonna piece it all back together. All right, what I'm doing now before I put this back in, since I already had this from a previous project, it's just a double-sided tape, uh, double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna remove the, uh, the back portion so it sticks before I do put it in. Again, it's really super thin. I already had it from a project. The middle portion is still sticky, so I'm not gonna deal with that. But the outer ring uh, probably needs another layer. And I'm probably just gonna stick it right on top because it's super thin. And this is already kind of a thicker strip up here. So I'm just gonna lay the thinner strip right over the top and then on the side here and side here. It's already on the bottom here. I just have to remove the back layering. So I'm gonna do that up there, there. And then we're gonna flip that over, put that back on the LEDs. Not 100% necessary. You can rely on just the stickiness here. And again, if you don't wanna deal with that or potentially tearing it as you pull it out, then go ahead and exacto blade the strips out to remove them. But you still might need the double-sided tape to secure those exacto strips so they're not flippy flappy on you. I'll leave that up to you. I'll try to link some of this stuff in the description box right below the video. All right, it's back in, and I just ran kind of my uh, fists like this around it, and then also getting the middle portions as well. It's laid out really nice. Obviously, 
the five LED lights are going to be on the left. The right hand side is going to have the four LED lights. And then let's go ahead and put back in our little inserts, these little small plastic guys here. All right, since we lifted them out, I literally just put them back in and just make sure that they go over these little notches down here at the bottom and the top here. Here's your tape still right there. If you want it on, I got my little tape down here at the bottom as well. Now we're going to go ahead and put back on our little side railings, our top railing, and our bottom railing. All right, all four are on. I started with the top. These side ones kind of tuck underneath just a little bit. And as you put them back into place, you'll hear some clicking going on there. Just make sure they're nice and flush and tight. Same thing with this. Goes back over those little silver clips that are located right there. Kind of clicks into place. Now let's carefully put our screen back on the top. Again, you might want to double check your compression of your suction cups. Mine are looking good. We'll go ahead and come right on over here and lay that screen in. And remember that the screen goes on top of that sticky area, right on top. And I wouldn't release your suction cups until you have the bezel on completely, until you know it's completely fine. You might have to alter it just a tiny bit. And watch your ribbons there, and watch your bottom ribbons as you do tuck that under. All right, that's exactly where I want it. Now, before I do put on the bezel, I'm just gonna use a microfiber cloth a uh, cotton shirt will do just fine, but we will have to clean the display as well after we're all finished with it uh, to remove the suction kind of circles. And so I'm just going to run my finger lightly around the three edges to go ahead and adhere, especially at the top, adhere it to that um, double-sided sticky tape adhesive that was there. And now we're ready for the bezel. All right, after you're done with the bezel, flip it around and definitely be careful with putting the bezel on, especially clicking it into place. You do want to be very careful, especially around the edges. You do not want to crack your screen pushing too hard, clicking the bezel back into place. So please be careful on that step. Flip the television over. Go ahead and put your boards back in the little clicky plastic pieces, the black holders. Put in your little screw there, your little screw there. Put your guards back on, reconnect your T-Con ribbons here, and also make sure that you put back on your display stand pieces here as well. All right, lastly, after all your guards are on, your stands are on, your T-Con is on, remember to replug this cable right into your main board. We have our Wi-Fi already back up and connected right there. Our Wi-Fi module, we ran our cord back over there. Go ahead and put this cover on. Go ahead and put all your screws around the television, making sure they're in the right holes. And guys, that is how you get your 55 inch TCL television back up and running when there is sound, but no backlight fix. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please thumb that video up if it has helped you with your television fix. It's much appreciative. Subscribe to the channel, please, guys, and look for some of the parts I used in the video in the description box below. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.